What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are officially starting our geometry test. Um, I did like a weird couple miscellaneous stuff throughout, but I think today is the day I really want to start playing with you guys, like videos about it. So I'm not the best at geometry dash, like I'm very bad at geometry dash. Like I'm very, very, very bad. And this is not my first time playing. I'm not doing a first time thing. I played this for over five, probably over five months now, and I still feel like I'm that way. But by the way, you may see like the extra like Xbox control stuff, Steam Deck stuff, controls. Well, that's just because I have an Xbox controller connected to the to the computer, causing this stuff. So I'm actually playing with keyboard and mouse. I actually used a mouse for like actual like the movement but there's sadly no games uh, besides this one for rob top so i don't like this but um welcome in to geometry dash if you want some background story here is some background story so many of you may have heard of the impossible game right some people probably a little people but the impossible game was in the game that was released around that same time and actually impossible the impossible game 2 just came out um for android and ios i hope it comes to pc Basically, this game is like that, but a lot better, in my opinion. And in my opinion, I think this one's a lot better than Impossible Game 1, which is on computer. But, um, this game is like, it's, as it's in the name, it's geometry. It's basically avoiding blocks and spikes and, and using orbs and jump pads. And sometimes avoiding the orbs and jump pads and doing a lot of other cool stuff. Um... This is um, a course game on mobile where if you don't know anything, I actually started playing on mobile. So yeah, but we may talk a lot during the level. So I completed the first level Stereo Madness, I completed the second level Back on Track, I completed the third level Polar Geist, I completed the fourth level Dry Out, but I have not completed base after base yet. We're 77% there, so we're exactly 23% away from so let's do some level so yeah so this game was actually made the day before my birthday um in 2013 so it was the day before my first ever birthday my birth i was born on august 14th it was the day before my first birthday it's pretty cool pretty cool information but the game was released originally on ios for like i think a dollar and I Android and I watched for a dollar, and that was released on Steam for a couple, like three dollars. And um, since then, the game has been called a dead game, but in my opinion, the game's still pretty good. Some people have joined it. Um, by the way, I may or may not play the creative levels yet, because I'm mainly focusing on completing the Rod Top levels. Who is the creator game? Rod Top, yes. And I am planning to. Um, what is it? Um, complete these levels. But the thing is, though, I may not complete the levels before the 2.2 update comes, which means I may have a little bit more levels to complete. AKA, like, we got, like, a couple sneak peeks, including a level I think was called Explorers. Which seems a pretty cool name. I think I like that name, Explorers. Then there's another sneak peek, which is basically entering the game in a platformer world. But, yeah. And this is, of course, not my first ever video game. I started playing this, um, like, right before winter break in my school, and we found this website called geometry-light.io. It was very fun for many people. The game is not exactly what it was. It was very realistic to it, but it was not that replica of what it was. It was only for the light version, so it won't, and in the worst part, though, it only went out to electrodynamics. It did not go anywhere past electrodynamics, which was sad. And then when I, when I found out I was on mobile, I was like, yes, I'm going to get this game. And next thing you know, it, it goes up to a little thing called Hexagon, which I was completely not going in. I feel like the level I'm playing right now, base after base, and Hexagon 4 is like forgotten levels. I don't think anyone really talks about the levels. I, th I know people love the levels, but I don't know. It's not really talked about. Like, a lot of people forget about Hexagon 4. So base after base, majority of people forget about base after base, but I think I've been never base after base in Hexagon before, but a lot of people don't, like, I really sometimes forget about sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, base after base, I always remember something. Those are level all doesn't introduce anything, usually people remember the levels that introduce anything, but I don't get how people can forget. Hexagon Force, which introduced the dual portal, where you have to control two characters, which 
harsh. It seems, it seems pretty harsh, but I don't, I think it's harsh. So yeah, this of course that was not my first ever game. I started playing games two years ago. No, three years, two of the three years ago. Mm -hmm. The first game I ever played was actually just, I actually just found out it was on computer, so that's why I remember. Oh wait, this is not my, this is my first game, not Among Us. Which is very weird. Because actually I consider the games that I consider my first games have to be on console and PC. That's a fact. That's an honest fact for me. Either console or PC, it can be on any. But I don't consider Nintendo games to be now. I don't, like even though I played a Mar uh, like a Mario game before I even started playing the game, I still consider the game side like not Nintendo. But actually there is two games that are not on PC or console yet, so technically once if those ever can come to console or PC, those will have to block out Fortnite for being my third game. And then will and Fortnite will come my fifth game. Oh, wait. Yeah, fifth game. And those games are Solar Smash and Modern Warships. I started playing Modern Warships before Solar Smash, I think. But the game I'm talking about, the first one, is actually known as on Warplanes, World War II, and Dogfight. We'll make a video on that at some point. I'm actually pretty good on PC. I managed to get the my PC account onto my phone. Hold on, I gotta focus here. No! I broke my record again, though. Yay. But, um, I still think, and, and obviously I'll make a video on it, but, um, yeah. And the game is also on Nintendo Switch for $8! Why is every game on console cost a millions of dollars, it feels like? Like, there's a lot of games on PC, for example. Um, Need for Speed Unbound FIFA 23 costs, like, FIFA 23 costs $69.99. And I think same thing with about like my favorite game ever Forza Horizon 5 yes Forza Horizon 5 is my favorite ever favorite game ever just stating that I never I never told anyone about my favorite games actually but just saying um Forza is my favorite game my second would be Kerbal Space Force 1 and 2 actually I have two favorite games Modern Warships but I can't consider it my favorite yet until it comes to console PC I mean come on it's not that hard. Let's make a deal with someone. Come on. It's, it's, it's annoying. Like, like same thing with Subway Surfers. I mean, like, it was, like, on Windows 7, 8, and uh, 10. It was not, why was it not on 9 or 11? Come on. 9 or 11. Come on. It's, it's so sad. Come on. Come on. Bring up the PC. It's going to be fun. It'll be cool. You'll get a lot more players. Come on. Same thing with another game called Pixel Gun 3D. Because also, we wonder, why don't you just use it as I'm like, yo, I'm against emulators. I feel like emulators should not be in existence. I don't like emulators. I think games should be on PC they're on their own. Like I get like Cubic Games has been making a lot of deals to put it onto like the like onto emulators, but I mean like bro, just release it yourself! Jeez, it's not that long. It's not that hard because it also open up your player base and I mean like seriously man, you put it on a website. Allows people to only play it for literally 30 minutes a day. I mean, who does this? <laughs> Same thing though, like, Solar Smash, come on. Well, I, at least though, because I found out, like, for, for example, that we're playing World War II Dolphin. I didn't know, I'm glad that that is on PC. Same thing though, because I've um, ever heard of 1v1.lol, it's actually a pretty popular game. It's actually going to PC at some point. It's actually on my CD wish list for this coming soon. Pretty big, and I can't wait to play with you. Also, yes, I did find out how to turn on comments on all my videos. Yes, I did find out how to do it. And, uh, feel free to comment on my videos. I would love to do this comments. We're actually going out of focus up here.
Yo, that was actually kind of fire. I was like, I was like, I was actually about to focus. I was like, well, I gotta focus up here. I went silent, the next thing I completed the level. Well, let's go! I completed base after base, and it's a harder level. Now it's just time for camp. So, I actually do practice mode. Like, it's not for, like, practice. It's actually just because I want to complete all the modes of practice. But yes, now we are going to be doing Can't Let Go. Let's go. First level I actually completed on the footage. I have problems with triple spikes. Okay, don't make fun of me. I have problems on triple spikes. Like, there's a game, like, it's like a thing, not like a robot, it's like a 3D version of Jump Shot. It's called 3 Dash. And it, it has, like. Oh, come on! Oh! Come on. Jump quick here. Oh, that I'm gonna get tripped up so much.
like, at least I'm on the level, and at least I completed a couple levels in the game, but I'm so happy I at least got something on footage, like, I never usually get big me Geometry Dash on footage, I never, it's my first ever Geometry Dash true video, and also, I'm playing on PC, which I didn't do last time, either. last time I made one was like a weird thing, the other thing, come on, stereo madness, the time where I didn't like you, but ah! <laughs> like when I didn't complete stereo madness was just me saying come on I mean like bro and then the, like a couple other ones were just me playing on my phone I mean, like man now I can finally do it for real and I feel like I'm not making fun of myself making embarrassing content I know some people do think I actually so I know someone who thinks I do make embarrassing content and if they do watch this video I think they might know who they are just just But, I do have a nice friend who decides to make videos with me. Um, 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 also, can you please view the Fortnite video, play? should I become friends with JTL Chuck? And that's a person I, I think I'm planning to have a person on my channel, who works with me on this channel, who's planning to make his own channel too. Which I think, if he does, subscribe to it, please. I will, I want to make sure people, also, if you think, actually, I'm planning to make another video with a channel that has been sitting there for a long time, well, you might be wondering, um, Frostbite747 plays, that's on my channel, features channel section, um, those, that channel is no longer posting, so don't expect any content, I just put it, I'm just gonna keep it there for no reason, honestly, so, this new channel is Agent Pig 68 which is also shown in the channel feature section, so we're planning to make a video together, finally, in a Minecraft server, a, like a custom little PvP match, because he'll be he, me and we're only going to play do Minecraft servers. So, look forward to that, just saying, just tipping that off. But, yeah, also, he's making a monstrous amount of views, but no subscribers. Please subscribe. Yes, we we'll it further. though yay we're going farther but um yeah um yeah so i'm just gonna keep on playing here with you guys i'm just gonna talk with you guys but yeah i hope you got i hope you got some nice information that my first ever game yeah that i don't think i mentioned though what my second game so it went of course we're, we're playing world war ii dogfight then it went um among us then it went roblox which actually i know the exact date then like after you're playing roblox i started playing Obviously, in that time, I played play Modern Warship and Solar Special. Once those come to PC, I will talk about those more. And if they do come to PC, expect some content. So, don't expect as much mobile content, though, because that, that, you know, that channel... Uh, I think I already mentioned that, because... Um, by the way, go subscribe to my new other channel called Mitchell Media. I just made that channel, and I didn't, you know, I not got, like, many subscribers, I don't think. I would love some support, and it might be seem boring, but just please, it's just a hobby of mine that I'll be doing on that channel, there's cool stuff I like and stuff, talking about stuff I like, and I definitely am a history buff or something, like science so please, I will be talking about history and stuff, because I do, I probably sort of not, I'm not, I, here, here's the way this, a junior ocean liner enthusiast, I think it'd be like that, I'm a, I'm a junior ocean liner enthusiast, Space person too, so yeah, just some stuff on there. But um, yeah, then I started playing Fortnite, obviously, which I made a couple videos on on this channel. And as time went on, when I got my computer, I started playing uh, Star Trek Online, which I never made a video on. Surprisingly, then I started making. Um, then I started playing Minecraft, which, is, which I started playing Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Yes, Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Up until then, I actually was against Minecraft. I was like, I'm not playing Minecraft. I like Roblox. And you know, like, already getting into Fortnite, I was still against Minecraft. And next thing you know, yeah, and still my school people still call them. I think some people do call them Minecraft. And, some and people are actually very against Minecraft in my school for some reason. I have no idea why. I have no idea. But there was actually some big stuff, like, because we went found like, a Stumble Guys website. And then it became like, a big thing. Like, just like Geometry Dash, sort of did. Not as much, but sort of did. Yeah, you can also please like and subscribe to this channel. I didn't, I've been trying to do a lot of work on this channel. Like, I mean, like, I haven't post, I don't post as much as I hope to, but I've been like, okay, I play, I play two sports, please. And I 
have a new orchestra as well, so hopefully I may not be able to make videos every day. I try, like, I try to make, like, videos whenever I can. Like, that's the same thing with my friend, H68, obviously, who does try and post whenever he can. Like, he's allowed a limit of, like, four days to week. He says he, tries, he only tries to post four days a week and stuff like that. But he says, though, he is planning to make some, oh, like, a couple vids with me. And, I mean, like, that's fine with me. I mean, like, we're, we're okay. Our, like, we had a couple art, like, we had a couple stuff. But we have never done, we had never done a video together. And we basically never played together. Of our whole lives in Minecraft and then in gaming. And gaming in general, we've really never played together. From our monstrous, um, his laptop and from my big monster PC. Which I still call monster because it's like a very good PC. But it has like the latest game tech and was also custom built. Well, it had pieces but then was put together by my cousin who thankfully made this thing. And if he didn't, well, Better guys. No! It died at the same place. I'm getting better though. I'm definitely getting better at this level. Okay. Okay. But yeah, that's some nice background stuff. But yeah, my favorite game ever is Forza Horizon. So it's, I haven't made a video on it in a while. Actually, no, my let no, I have made a video. I have made a video, actually. right, my, because I have three Bugattis, right, I forgot to mention that. well, I did, but the video only got, like, a couple views, which I'm very upset about, so it's, like, it's kind of upsetting, but I mean, like, that's life, I mean, that's kind of upsetting, but that's, like, that's just life, things can be upsetting, but, especially in the YouTube life, you got, like, sometimes you get, like, barely any views, <laughs> and barely any subscribers, like, sometimes you get, like, so many views, like, one of my videos got, like, 1.6k views, and that's, like, the only thing I need to make more content on. So, please tell me in the comments you want more floating sandbox content because I want to know if that can change it. Because that video got me four subs. I do want though, because I'm not a meme person. I don't like memes. I really don't. Like, I mean, like if it's a gaming meme, like sure. But if it's like a weird meme that's like it completely express a lot, like if it's a gaming meme, sure. But if it's not, like if it's like something completely out of the ordinary. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I think we're doing pretty good. Oh wait, hold on. I earned a new skin. Why am I still wearing the um yeah, I have to wear the skin I get from the level. I don't like this skin. Like what the hell is this? What is this among us? Are you a ghost from Among Us? Oh my god. I hate that part. Oh, I still get tripped up on that part. Everyone gets tripped up in Jump Shash. It's like a hard game. It's very hard. Yeah, I hope we can progress to the game. I hope someday to make some Let's Plays, but... Uh, yeah. Yes! But I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. Probably on more planes World War II Dogfight. I'll see you. The next one. Bye. Peace.